I'm giving a dinner party. I really do try and keep things simple. It's sort of my way of getting back to basics. So I'm gonna make a scallop gratin, which is a very easy dish to make. And I'm gonna make it in individual dishes, which I think is a little more special and frankly easier for me. So I have two pounds of scallops. You can use bay scallops or sea scallops. Bay scallops aren't in season, so I'm just taking sea scallops, cutting them in half so that they cook more quickly. When I gave a dinner party, I used to make a million dishes, and it would just take forever. And frankly, I don't think everybody had a better time. So now I keep it really simple, make a few really special things. Big green salad to go with the scallops, and that's all anybody needs. Okay, that's two pounds of sea scallops cut in half. Now I'm gonna put a little white wine in each of the gratin dishes. I have six gratin dishes, and a tablespoon of white wine in each one. I'm using a dry white wine. I, I like Sauvignon Blanc, but whatever you're gonna serve with dinner. Make sure it's a good one. Okay, now the scallops, I'm just gonna pat them dry a little bit. They'll brown better in the oven when, if they're a little drier. Just paper towels. So I'm gonna distribute the two pounds among the six dishes. Just enough for each person for main course. This is a great way to do it, a dish that serves a large crowd because you can actually assemble the whole thing in advance, refrigerate it, and then just bake it before dinner. I'm just gonna wash up and then I'll make the topping. And this is what makes this gratin so special is the topping. First into the mixing bowl, six tablespoons of unsalted butter at room temperature. Then six big garlic cloves, chopped. Two minced shallots, two ounces of minced prosciutto, and four tablespoons of minced fresh parsley leaves. Some freshly squeezed lemon juice. Two tablespoons, one of those magic ingredients that really brings out the flavor and everything in the dish. And then a French classic with seafood, Pernod. It's got a wonderful anise flavor. Just two tablespoons of Pernod really adds depth of flavor. A couple of teaspoons of kosher salt. A teaspoon of black pepper. And then the mixer gets switched on low. And I just drizzle in six tablespoons of olive oil. Okay, one more ingredient, panko. They're Japanese bread flakes. They're actually great. They're better than breadcrumbs because they come out much crispier. You can find them in the grocery store or in a seafood shop. So half a cup of panko, and they just get folded in with a rubber spatula. See what I mean about simple? That's really easy. I'm just gonna put this topping right on top of the scallops. All that butter and shallots and these are no boring scallops. These are gonna be delicious. Scallops out of the refrigerator, into the oven. 425 degrees for 10 to 12 minutes. And they're gonna be bubbly and hot and delicious. 